did now. Yes. And we're fucking working. live. And we're fucking live. <laughs> Welcome back to Inglorious Bastards. And Magnificent Bishop. It is I, Doc Camo. And Ken Santos here. And we're back for another test of the emergency <laughs> podcast system. And do, 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 do. the circus just keeps fucking continuing. The circus will never end. Don't forget, guys, we only got a few ringleaders. <laughs> so they, shh, shh. I just got to say, Minneapolis, we're going to go right into this. Minneapolis is on fire again. Of or, course. It is. Or just outside. Are you really surprised? Do you believe a place that could find any excuse to destroy itself would not in turn find an excuse to yet again destroy itself? So... There's only a little bit of evidence, that, but they re, they released the body cam footage of the the shooting that police shooting that did this one. Yeah, and this police it, like she clearly thought it was a taser or just yelled taser to think she was going to get away with it. But they released the body cam footage and she pulled her gun, yelled taser, and shot this kid. No, I know. And then she was like, "Oh shit!" Oh. And then she was like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> oh shit! Oh, shit, oh, shit. <laughs> oh damn! But in like retrospect, not for nothing after watching like the video, and she's like. I'm going to tase you. Like, she said it like 30 times. Like, I mean, before the dude even moved, he's like, I want to And he's like, all right, you're not going to do shit. Fuck no, I, like, no, I haven't seen the warrant, so I can't collaborate it. But they're saying he had a warrant for his arrest. And they were quite clearly handcuffing him before he tried to get back in the car and leave. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not saying the dude's like innocent of stuff. But that doesn't mean he should have got shot in the kidney or whatever. Yeah. Facts. <laughs> facts. Like, that was like right here. He's like. I'm driving away, and she's like, nah. <laughs> uh, just, like, that's a bad fucking day. <laughs> that that was clearly, like, at the very But then least, again, like... It looks negligence. Right no, it, it's negligence and arrogance. It's, like, a combination of the two, because, like, when she's like, oh, I'm retired. Like, she's in the car with you at this point. Like, just get the fuck out of the car. It's just... What I don't understand <laughs> is all these fucking people. The mom's like, don't burn down shit, and they burn down shit. And then so, like, like, should she have said burn down shit? No, I think, I think it would have been the same response. I just I, I don't understand how fucking people go out there and the police shoot fucking some dude and they do horribly and you're mad at the police. But you go burn down your own bars and your own fucking like it makes no fucking sense to me. Hey, well, you know, let's think about this from uh, a different standpoint. Let's well, let's take a step back. Let's let's you, let's just let's separate. You know, let's be a back from this. Just step it back. You know, deep breath. <laughs> One more for clarity. Now let's uh, let's look at this scenario. So you're business owners, you're sitting there, you're down in the dumps, shit's been going bad for a long time. You're now financially fucked. You're just fucked. Period. <laughs> fucked. But insurance, you still get insurance for now. For now, not much longer. Not much longer. We still have it currently. Now you see people fucking up shit near your place, and you think to yourself, "What do I have in my car?" Oh. You know, I knew that ski mask would come in. <laughs> and then you you go and you gown up at this point. And now you you know, paint some colors on your clothes, get a flag, <laughs> run outside like, I did. <laughs> fucking burning shit, your own shit. <laughs> your like, own this shit. is brilliant. <laughs> I, I could foresee it. I guarantee there's probably multiple cases of that scenario, exact scenario happening and playing out. Flawlessly. Probably. <laughs> like, think about it. I, you know, like, especially there's people that are, like, mad, and they're like, shit, man. It's only a matter of time. They were fine, and nothing bad was happening. But you're right. It's only a matter of time before these insurance companies are just like, we're just not going to cover that. Yeah. Sorry, we don't care. We don't cover riots. <laughs> that uh, that was an extra. You didn't add that. <laughs> nope. Nope, sir. It had to be. It had to be in effect for six months for the minimum to be covered for us to be able to allot the funds to cover said tragedy. <laughs> Excuse me. What, what do you mean? You, no, no, sir. You're gonna have to uh, eat that shit. Well, sometimes insurance companies are like that. Like, no, we, they, they usually are. We like bank that. with USAA, and have you ever read their insurance policy? It's ridiculous. No, you, I know. I've already... You're like covered for alien invasion no, I know. I know. and like nuclear holocaust. Yeah, things you just don't even understand. <laughs> you're like, yeah, I'll pay that. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna happen, but it's it, it, it's in it. It's not extra. Done. Done. <laughs> 